We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Thursday, July 2nd and I'm at my mom's house right now and I always talk about this in my lectures, I thought it was funny. Um, bread is one of the most damaging foods to the human body, it probably is the most damaging food to the body, it is a processed starch. And I joke around with people, I mean I don't like to recommend people eat animal protein but from a scientific standpoint it is least damaging to the body compared to refined sugars and processed starches. So um, I of course don't like what it does to the planet and animals, but what can you do? <laughs> so um, I recommended my events just as a joke, kind of. Instead of ha replace bread with lettuce all the time. Instead of a meat sandwich, have a like you just use <laughs> lettuce. And I thought it was funny because I, it was kind of like a joke when I do that. And my mom is actually do I caught her doing it. <laughs> Here it is. Lettuce around some turkey and a little bit of cheese and some cheesy kale chips instead of potato chips. It's easy, guys. <laughs> awesome. And I, I've been doing this forever. I can't believe this is the first time he's caught me eating a, le a lettuce wrap. I've seen you eat them, Matt, but you have veggies in them. Right. Usually, yeah. And I do it with veggies also. I'll put avocado in and some tomato sometimes. Right on. So, yeah. I mean, it's not new. Today um, I'm going to Erwan Market, um, and we're doing an event there in L.A. And um, I'm doing the maca experiment today, actually. Oh, so that means you're going to come back here sick tonight. Is that what's going to happen? No. Why do you feel you have to do that? <laughs> I, I decided to up the table, amount of tablespoons. I heard you. <laughs> Why? What have you got to prove to anybody? Did you turn me off? No. My mom is kind of um, upset. I had to bring it up in front of her. So we'll see you in a minute eating 20 tablespoons of maca or 10, 10 to 20. Okay. Take care, guys. Don't do crazy things like my son does. Okay, everybody. We made it to Erwan and it's time to do the maca experiment. And we've got truth here. I think the Ultimate Superfoods is probably the best raw maca in the store that we have. This is the smallest package, it's eight ounces straight. Oh, cool, and that's what David Wolf promotes, so that's perfect. I want to make sure we got it right it's, here. Yeah, I think it's the best quality one that we have in the store. Can you maybe explain one more time what, what you think could happen with an overdose of maca? Like you said, it's not a good thing. Well, I think, you know, maca is supposed to help regulate the, the hypothalamus gland, so it helps tell as a master gland to the rest of the endocrine system how much, like, progesterone and how much estrogen to make, or how much testosterone and how much um, pregnamolone, or, or how much DHEA, how much, you know, there's a kind of a yin and a yang, there's a a partner to each molecule, I mean to each hemp hormone, and they sort of work like in a consort, like a, like a symphony. And it's really tricky to balance them just right, so there's just a certain amount of each one in this whole symphony with all the glands, and then we have this incredible balance, and we feel great. And that's what people are trying to achieve with hormonal health. And, you know, toxins, synthetic toxins in our environment that mimic estrogen molecules that get our receptors in our cells, confuse our cells in our hormonal system. And that's why they call them xenoestrogens, and we think they're bad, and we want to try to keep those down, the plastics, those toxins. Um, and then there's herbs that nutrition, things that help feed the glands and try to help it get balanced. Um, maca, traditionally, like, I mean, the highest dose we've sort of used at the bar here is like two heaping tablespoons in a day to someone who's not been on maca before, like when they're new to it. You can take a lot in the beginning because your body's never had it before, and you get a tremendous high and a lift and a sort of a surge or like an increase in chi or hormones and libido and mental energy and your well-being. You just feel great. You feel strong. Um, if you stay on that high dose for every day, like after a week, it starts like it feels great for the first three days, and then it kind of peaks, and then you come down, and then people start crashing. They try to take even more maca. They try to go to three tablespoons, and they start getting more tired and weird. And then if they like do some muscle testing on this, kinesiology is this good for my body? They'll start getting a, a massive no, like this is not good for my body. You take two or three days off, your energy comes right back up to a good place, and then you go back on a lower dose of the maca, and boom, you get a little lift from it again. So I found the best thing to do is like probably a tablespoon of maca, four days on a week, three days off, and then one week a month totally off. You have to cycle it. It's just one of those herbs that just kind of works that way. So have you been taking maca every day right now? I've actually stopped taking it for like months on end just so I could do this experiment. Excellent. Then this experiment's going to work better because you have known in your system you haven't taken it in a while. Okay. So you should probably get, as you're drinking it, you should feel great and great and great. And I've never done eight 
never seen anyone do eight ounces at once, so I don't know. How many tablespoons is that, you think? Eight ounces. Well, two tablespoons to an ounce, so so sixteen tablespoons. All right, let's just let's bust that whole thing. And um, we do we ice. We make a maca ice cream with this. Sweet maca with coconut water and ice, and that's pretty much it. We, we don't need any water really. Maybe just a tiny bit. Okay. Mostly ice. So what? Yeah. What? You know, I bet you we could do it just straight maca in the ice and then the honey and just pound it and make right. it a pure maca ice cream. Sounds great. Totally pure maca. Ice. That way, <laughs> if you eat like two bowls of this pure maca ice cream, we get the whole bag down. Sweet. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be amazing. Is this your girlfriend or your yes, wife? Yes, my my wife. Oh my God, after this much maca on it, like if you fasted for two months and you've had no maca and you eat two bowls of maca ice cream, sixteen ounces, you're gonna be so virile tonight. You could like create an amazing child with this. Point. <laughs> this is Chu's recipe for conceiving amazing children. <laughs> The crazy thing is I'm about to speak like right after this, so I hope I don't... I mean, is there a chance I might pass out like David Wolf's friend? I have no idea. I do huh? notice on, like when I've taken high doses of maca spread out over the week, that when it gets too high, I start getting tired, yes. Okay. It's like, it's, that's the counter effect, it's, it's making me tired. And I could feel that it was the maca, and I just knew it intuitively. I stopped taking the maca, and my energy came right back up. Wow. But you're a healthy guy, and so you're going to digest this pretty well, and if, you're, if your body hits a limit that it can't use it, it should just be fiber at that point. I don't know. Never. This is going to be a great experience for me because I've gone to extremes with a lot of products, but I've never, I've never gone more than four tablespoons a day with maca. Do you think we should do maybe a little bit more than eight ounces, or what do you think? I think if we can condense all this into one or two ice creams with like okay. twelve ounce cups, okay, so you can. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think that's a pretty extreme test. Sixteen tablespoons of maca. He's incorrigible. Oh, this would be awesome. So we've got about two and a half, 12 ounce cups of ice, no water, just fresh filtered ice. And I'm oh, gonna cool. put the whole bag of maca in there. Aye, 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 aye. I think it's gonna take it, the Vitamix. Sure. We don't want to burn the motor out, because sometimes with this much, um, you're gonna see how intense it is for me to pound this to an ice cream. The motor almost starts to heat up and smoke. And the auto shut off valve goes off. Then we need um, our sweetener. Honey. Open up a honey that's going to be light. It's going to, well, the really raw honey is good, but this is pretty heavy. I want one that's going to be a little softer. Erwan Market. Maca ice cream with 16 tablespoons of maca in it. I always wanted to try some maca ice cream, but not with 16 tablespoons of maca in it. Brought to you here at the Raw Food World TV show. You think I'm going to pass out, baby girl? No. I don't think so. I either. think you're going to be high. Hi. Ooh, this will be interesting. This is a pretty light honey that David Chubb likes. And it's it's not crystallized, so it's going to be a little gentler to blend. Cool. I can actually pour this. Wow. Enough. And, you know, I might need just like two ounces of water. Just a dash. Smells good. I think, I'm glad Truth is playing with us. I want to ask Truth about the fat cyst on my head, see what he would do about Ooh, that. yeah. I was kind of scared that Truth might have thought I was crazy and stupid, but he did. He likes it, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.